I've got a bad idea. Valentine's Day candy pie. Alright, here's how I play the game. One, I come up with a bad idea. Two, I make a plan of action but don't test or taste any recipes. And three, I make it for the first time and try it for the first time on camera. Alright, here we have our mise en place for Valentine's Day candy pie. Here we have these conversation hearts, which are probably mostly chalk. No one likes them. We've got this pretty generic looking heart-shaped box of mixed chocolates for when you really don't care about someone. Of course, we have the ubiquitous and always underwhelming cherry cordials or chocolate-covered cherries, depending on what brand or where you're from. Then we have these chocolate squares filled with caramel. These are kind of like something you would give if you think you're fancy, but you're really, really not, and you're just totally misleading yourself. And here's some pre-made pie crusts. I'm not gonna bother with actually making crusts for this from scratch because it's probably not gonna be that good anyway and it's just not worth the trouble. Also, I'm lazy. Well, we had everything in place. Now let's push it all out of the way. Now this is a glass pie plate and it looks a little dirty, but it's not, it's just scuffed up. Don't worry, it's all gonna be okay. You don't have to eat it, hole. All right, we're gonna start with the bottom crust here. We're gonna fold it around the edges. Here we get to be a little stabby with this. It's very uh, satisfying for you aggressive types, I'm sure. All right, now for the filling. We're gonna have a base with these chocolate squares and they're all individually wrapped. So this is gonna be a hassle. Some of these are broken and they're leaking out their caramel. All right, we got that. So now onto the chocolate covered cherries. Here's what one looks like in case you're from a place where they don't have these. Generic mixed chocolates. That's just disappointing looking. All right, just gonna kind of throw these in here. Let's just go ahead and dump these in here, just get them mixed around. All right. One for the chef. That's disappointing. Got a lot of mess here. You wanna keep your area clean, just start throwing shit around. Gonna kind of fold this over the edges. Got a lot of excess, but don't worry, that's gonna get cut out. Gonna do some snipping here for the purpose of ventilation. Kinda want this to be like a face. I want it to be, this is gonna be Willy Wonka's death mask. He's so happy in hell, look at him. Now I'm gonna trim off these edges here. Leaves me with a bunch of on the side. And I think I'll just make some hair out of this. Look at him. Now I'm gonna brush on some butter for browning. And finally, because I didn't forget about these nasty little conversation hearts I'm putting them on too. Got a nice little wrap around. Into the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes. And now we wait. And look, it's done. Uh, it looks pretty bad, but uh, we still need a food porn shot. Mmm, yeah. Bubbly and... Ugh. At least the crust looks okay. There's nothing else I can eat that. I should probably wait a little bit longer, but I'm impatient and actually kind of hungry and just excited to see what this is going to be like. Well, maybe not excited, just frightened. Try to scoop out one slice here and... Ah, uh, yeah, I definitely should have let that cool a little bit longer. Ugh, I just need a spoon. Moment of reckoning with the Valentine's Day candy pie. Doesn't, doesn't look good. It's, um, it's really bad. Um, I think if I were like a little kid and it was just like, oh, look, sweet stuff. Yay. Um, it would be all right, but it's just too much. I, um, I keep eating it because there's different flavors and different spots just because of the mix. Chocolates. Mm, I'm gonna get one of these things here. The mm. seem to have bitten into a part with some coconut and chocolate. I'm not a huge coconut fan. It's kind of like the world's worst chocolate cherry pie. 
I'm gonna have to say, bad idea confirmed. Ugh. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. I'm doing this for you.